Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gerben from Excel is Fun. Mike, all this week at Mr. Excel, we've been doing VLOOKUP week, talking about different VLOOKUP issues. Now I want to do the two-way lookup. So we have this table here with account numbers down the side and months going across the top. Based on these two cells, I want to find the value at the intersection. All right, so I'm going to build this in three pieces, equal, match. Go find this value, A114. I'll press F4. Comma in the left hand column of this table, control shift down arrow, press F4 again, and then finally we want an exact match. Comma zero here is just like comma false in the V lookup, and uh, it says that that's on row 14. All right, now match is really cool because it can go both vertically or horizontally. So for the column, go look for February within the first row of the table. We'll press F4 again, and again, comma zero, and that says, hey, it's in column two. Well, what good is that? Well, now we're going to use this index function, and the index function is going to take our whole array, and make sure to leave the headings out. So we select B10 to E233, press F4, and what do we want? Well, we want this particular row, and then this particular column, and there's our result, 0.352. Let's just check it. A114, there it is, 0.352, and we'll enter something different here. It's like A104, 0.319, and there it is. It's working. Okay, now that I have it working, check this out. This is my cool, cool trick. See where we refer to cell B5 here? I'm going to go back to B5. I'm going to go up to the formula bar and copy everything except for the equal sign. Control-C to copy. Come back here. Click on B5 and Control-V to paste. Cool. All right. Next up, B6. Come back to B6. I click on everything except for the equal sign. Control-C to copy. Come back down here. B6 to paste. Isn't that cool? Control-V. Enter. And now I have my formula. I can Control-X, bring it back up here to the answer, and I no longer need these rows here. We can just edit, delete, entire row. They're gone, and everything's working. Uh, index with a couple of matches. All right, now let's throw it over to Mike, see what Mike has. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Whoa, deja vu. You know, this is our 32nd duel, and all the way back, 32 weeks ago, uh, duel number one, we did this two-way lookup. Now, index, match, match. Uh, we did that one last time, and we did an intersector operator. Now, I'm going to show you a different method, and I want to compare it to index match match. Notice the index has the guts of the table, and then index just needs a uh, row number and a column number. But what about VLOOKUP? We could use VLOOKUP because VLOOKUP always looks in the first column, and then we tell it what, I'm sorry, the first column and finds a row, jumps over, and we tell it what column, and then it selects that value. Well, instead of typing a column reference in, we can use the match inside the VLOOKUP. So let's see how that works. Equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to say the lookup value, since we want to find an accounting in the first column, that's the way VLOOKUP works, is I'm going to select that, comma. The table is going to be not including the headers up here. That range, control shift down arrow. That's the table array, comma, and then the column index. Now, one, two, three, uh, three, four. We put a four there for March, but no way. We can't hard code it in because we want it volatile, so we use the match. The match, I say, hey, look up that, comma, within this range right here, comma, and then exact match, and the match will deliver the ordinal position, one, two, three, four match inside the column index argument inside of VLOOKUP. We don't need the last argument because this is sorted ascending, so we just close parentheses and then control enter. So that will work right there, VLOOKUP and match if I type, say, uh, January. Now, 32 weeks ago what I did was the intersector operator, and I'm going to remind you of that here because it's a uh, I don't think it's as efficient as these two methods but it's interesting this is a good one you drop on your friend that thinks they know everything about Excel and you go well what about the intersector operator now intersector operator works like this we highlight some range type a space that's the intersector operator and if we highlight another range that intersect then it will always return the intersection now you don't want to have to do that each time we want it uh, link to these up here. Now, 
how do you name? Because that means we'd have to name this whole column January, this one whole February, this accounting, this one accounting to 103, etc. Well, there's a keyboard shortcut that does this automatically. I'm going to select the whole table. Uh, this is the selection keyboard trick, control asterisk. And then the keyboard shortcut to name from selection is Control Shift F3. It's going to say, hey, are our names in the top row in the left column? Yes, they are. Now, uh, let's go ahead and try it. Equals J A N space accounting 104. Sure enough, it'll return that 357. Now, we don't want to have to type it in each time, so we need a formula that's actually linked to these cells. The problem with this is that Excel sees text. That's text. J-A-N is considered text, so that's not going to work. There's no intersection. So instead of using the raw cell reference, you have to use the indirect function, which takes text, like J-A-N, and converts it to its reference. That is a name in memory, so it does convert to a reference. Space, and then indirect again, and we click right there. Ah, so that's a very uh, obscure way to do a two-way lookup, but uh, sure enough, it'll work. If I type in March here, then they all update. All right, we'll see you next trick. Oh my gosh, Mike, you've got to be kidding me. You can type in equal January space accounting 101. I always thought you'd have put that in the sum function. That's incredible. I, I couldn't believe it worked. I had to come here and test it out for myself. There you go. You just dropped one on me. All right, Mike, thanks for uh, that great tip, and thanks to everyone else for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.